here's our focus. There's three things which were reflected in the promotion, and you'll note that there's gonna be quite a little bit more than this, but in particular, I'm really passionate about helping people understand that there is a philosophical imper imperative behind um, making connections with the company before your content. Uh, it is a term that's bandied around quite a bit now, connection before content. Um, and so I wanna help you understand philosophically as well as scientifically why that's really important in the world of what, making a difference. Uh, I'm gonna quickly share with you my four steps. Again, I've made this up, but I found it applies so readily and so simply to pretty much every program I run that helps me create those fun programs. And one piece that I know from all the keynotes and other presentations I make that people get a lot of value from is I'm gonna focus particularly on you know, what are the key ingredients that helps an experience effectively break the ice. Notice I didn't say how to run a good icebreaker because unfortunately, in my experience, they're not often run very, very well. And so I'm gonna share with you what I have learned that in almost all cases allows that experience is to effectively break the ice. So in the course of this next 40 to 45 minutes before we get to questions, that's what I'm looking at to, to tick off. Three years ago when I wrote Serious Fun, I got some professional coaching to help me write that book. Um, I had a lot to share and I did a big brain dump. And they had said a couple of things to me and one of the most powerful things was, why don't you from the very start of a program tell me everything that you do, every thought that you have. So I started, it took a long time. I got to a certain point where I rushed over a particular piece and I used the word intuition. He said, stop right there, go back. Could you explain that again? I used the word intuition again. And he said, okay, first of all, there is no such thing as intuition. Now perhaps you're even thinking, a little voice in your mind just said, hang on, that doesn't sound right. There is a thing called intuition. You're right, it, is, does, it does exist. But what he's saying is that we use it as an excuse for covering up that it's just unexplored process. Intuition is just unexplored process. It was like a locomotive hitting me in, in like front on, bam. I was then able to like unlock what my intuition was. There were a series of steps and the bedrock of those steps are these three universal truths. Now.